Hey YouTube, what's up? This is your man Sonuwe Fela from the show just for you. Uh, how are you guys doing today? I hope all is well. Because I tell you the truth, I am doing very well as you can see. But I just want us to discuss um, something um, with you today concerning gasoline. And maybe somebody might wonder, why is he talking about gasoline? But this is something that um, I believe causing some problems um, in our country, Liberia. You know, gas stations were made for a reason. I bet it was brought about in order to safeguard the public. Because gas is something that is hazardous. It is not good to inhale it. Um, if you have fire around it, you know what happened. It is combustible. It is a scary thing. Even though it helps us get around with our vehicles and take care of generators and other stuff. But it is a dangerous, dangerous product. And I believe that's why gas stations came about. So I, I just wanted to admonish us that we should leave the selling of gas to those who went through the headache, the trouble of spending their hard earned money to build gas stations. As you can see, there's so many gas stations in Morovia even though some of them are old, there are, there are many Minata gas stations and there are other gas stations in Morovia. But there are some more than ones too, like Total Gas Stations and others that um, are doing its best to sell gas to its, uh, to its people, to our people back in Liberia. So I, I would like to just elaborate a little bit more on why it is not safe to sell gasoline in empty mayonnaise bottles. And we see it all through Morovia, everywhere, maybe in Ganta and other places as well. This is not to bash anybody. This is not to cause problem for anyone who's selling gas. This is just a video to educate our people to just let them understand and let them know that gasoline is not something we should sell on the side of the road because as I said it is very hazardous and dangerous so as we continue to go through this video today you will see pictures and videos of gas stations and eventually you will see videos of gas being sold on the side of the street. And you will also be shown the danger, what they have had, the effect that they have had on the Liberian community, individually, collectively, the community and the nation as a whole. Because there are kids, I understand 27 people died from gasoline fire in Morovia. Three people died from gasoline fire in Morovia. The Aminata gas truck had an accident while coming down a hill, I think Magnus Street Hill or somewhere there, and it caught fire and burned the warehouse there in uh, on our water side, damaging people produce and their products. That's how dangerous it is. We hear it every day around the world. Gas tanker caught fire and it killed so many people in Nigeria, in other countries. So gas is not something that we should take lightly. This is just an awareness. That's all. It's just an awareness. So those who are selling gasoline, maybe if they could take extra care of the gasoline, that would be highly appreciated, I believe, by the, the nation, Liberia, by the community, by our family and friends. 
You know, once upon a time, I had a friend, may his soul rest in peace. He used to sell gas. And he had it in his house. And one day someone took a lantern because there was no electricity into the very room that he stored his gasoline. And it caught fire and destroyed everything he had. We see the situation today in Liberia. There are no current, electricity. You get it once in a while, sometimes one hour, sometimes two hours, sometimes overnight, and then it goes for two, three days, sometimes a week. People use candles and other things to be able to see at night. And if you have gasoline in your house or in a storage place and you took a candle in there or even little matches or somebody smokes cigarette, do you know what could happen? That place could go boom. And lives will be destroyed. Property will be destroyed. So I'm just putting out this video to warn us and to admonish us and to just educate us concerning why we should be extra careful when we sell gas in bottles along the street. Because only in Liberia can this happen. Only in Liberia can this happen. So here we go. This SP.
But you can get one out from you. They don't only will see the gas that have been sold along the street, filling up motorbikes and keke and vehicles. I know that's how people live. A lot of people live in Liberia because there are no other means, so to speak. But I'm sure there are other avenues by which people can um, do business and try to get things going for their and their family instead of selling gas that could cause more problem for them in the future because when you continue to inhale gas, it makes you sick. If you took fire or a or, or candle or light or cigar or whatever into a place where these things are stored, it catch on fire and houses are destroyed. So as you will see, there are gas everywhere in Morovia, every corner of Morovia. That is a dangerous, dangerous hazard to the people of Liberia, to the citizens of Morovia, to our individual families, and even to individuals. It is very dangerous. I know some of my think, oh, he's trying to stop us from doing business. No, I'm not trying to stop you from doing business. I'm just bringing this to you as an awareness campaign to tell you that selling gas in a bottle is not the safest thing to do. We cannot continue to do the unsafe things and think that it's okay because nobody has spoken or nobody said anything about it. It is a dangerous thing and I want you to know that. I want you to think it over, those of you who are selling gas on the street, in bottles, rethink it. Think about your family. Think about your relatives. Think about yourself, even the community you live within. Think about the, the city you live in, the nation you live in. Because if everyone in Morovia along the streets are selling gas, it is not safe. We go find some other business to do. People are selling along the street. They're selling dry goods and clothing and so many other things that you could do besides selling gas. Why don't we leave the selling of gas to gas stations? That's how it used to be. 
When we were young in Liberia growing up, we never saw people selling gas in bottles. It was only gas stations we went to in order to purchase gas. They have special kind of containers that you pour gas in when you are buying it from gas stations or whatever. You don't just put it in bottle or put it in any rubber container. But I observed in Liberia, especially in Monrovia, where I visited some time ago, people were pumping gas into any container that came to the gas station so that they can go and put it in bottles and set it out there to others who will be passing by. So let's rethink our position concerning gas. Let's rethink selling it. Because today it could be someone else, but tomorrow it could be you. That house could burn down. That business could burn down. Our entire community could burn down because of gasoline being sold on the side of the street. And I don't know how they are stored, whether in people's homes or in or, or, or storage place. But in essence, it is still dangerous because if you don't have light, what happens? You want to go in there to check something out and you forget you take a lantern or you take a candle or whatever. It causes serious disaster. So it's about time that we rethink what we do for the safety of our people. The life of, the, of, of, of our people they, is, is in, in limbo because of the gas sale on the street. No one knows what could happen. Someone could be passing by and throw a cigarette and, and, and knob on the ground and that could catch fire, could cause fire. And that is dangerous because it is not protected, my people. It is not protected. We need to protect the public. And selling gas in bottles, I don't think it's the right way to protect the public. I bet you will agree with me. So subscribers, Please continue to share my videos and to like them. And those of you who are not subscribed but have come across my videos, I will ask humbly that you please subscribe, share, and like. Because I'm on a mission here to bring awareness concerning issues within our nation that is very pertinent to our living condition. Because if it is not safe for us to be there, how can people live a free and viable life? We think about criminals, we think about other things that goes on in our nation, but we are not even looking at those things that could even cause more disasters than anything else. Gasoline being sold on the side of the street. I will appeal again. Let's leave the selling of gas to the Vera gas stations that have been built in Liberia. And if we do that, I bet we'll be far safer than now. I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you will tune in again because there are a whole lot more coming from where this one came from. Bye.